experiment five, pH titration of acetic acid with sodium carbonate, determining the equivalence point. Well, uh, I've gone ahead and graphed my data uh, for the titration that I just completed. It was my first titration. You can see I was adding two milliliters here at the beginning. Then uh, I added one milliliter a couple times. And then as soon as I passed six, I added half a milliliter in here. And then I went back to two milliliters until I passed a 9.5, uh, pH of 9.5. Now, to graphically determine the equivalence point, you're going to look for this area right here in which the slope of this curve reaches the maximum slope, and so the steepest point, if you will. And then you're going to come in here. I see that series 1.14.88. Uh, that's the milliliters, 14.88 milliliters. I'm going to take the next point, 15.32 milliliters. And I'm going to average those two to get the milliliters at my equivalence point. So my equivalence point is actually going to be determined to be halfway between these two points.